came across this old man whilst I was out. So I thought I'd give him a lift and bring him down to look at the river. So, Storm Domingo came and got us last night. It wasn't as bad as the, um, was it Storm Kieran that they had further, further up, further north, Brittany, really bad. 200, 207 kilometres an hour, I think, one of the recorded gusts at Point de Raz, near where Claire lives. It was quite wild last night. We had some shutters closed and then at the last minute thought we ought to close some more and then when we went to bed we've got outside our bedroom window we've got the, the shutters have been closed to keep the moon out you know when the moon's bright to keep the light out they're sort of closed with about a I don't know two or three inch gap oh god he's looking very disabled he can walk better than that Are you just pretending now? No, I'm doing this so everybody knows. Okay. <laughs> well, you're doing it so people think that you're not managing very well. Yeah. Trying to get a bit of sympathy. No, no, I'm just trying to make it obvious. Well, I think it's pretty obvious. Don't get in my way. <laughs> well. <laughs> so, yeah, our shutters aren't quite closed. And we've got just outside the um, shutters, we've got some Buddha bells, Tibetan bells which are really lovely when you've got a bit of a breeze and they just tinkle. <laughs> Last night they were slapping against the shutters. So I had to get out of bed, open the window, facing into the storm and reach out and get the bells in and then close the shutters. And that worked. I mean, it only lasted, I think, two or three hours. It wasn't all night, thankfully. So, um, yeah, but it was quite rough. Lots of trees down locally. We lost power for about an hour and a half in the mid-afternoon. Jo finally got her flu fixed. Had oh, it's a big tree coming down there. So she had her flu fixed and she had her fire alight yesterday and she got too hot, which I'm really pleased about because she's been back there now two weeks, I think. And not had any heat apart from, you know, sort of a small, couple of small radiators. Huh? Crikey. Yeah, what's that? That's two, isn't it? Two pieces of yeah. tree. I don't think it's Loch Ness Sea Monster. It's not a Loch Ness Monster. Fontini Monster? So I said to Mark, would you like to come for a, a ride out in the car? And he said, where to? And I said, to the, you know, to the village, the river. No, not really. I went, but you asked where to? Where do you want to go? We're just slumping. And I just thought, you know, got a bit of a break in the weather. I wanted to see this. And it's good to get out because we're just sort of, you know, imprisoned really. I think I'm going to get him to drive home. I think he could drive. 
look at that all those seats and benches that we sit on in the summer are in the river So he's doing okay, a bit reluctant to do the exercises he needs to do, so that's okay, walking. Um, he's going up and down stairs, he's very tired still. Um, and he's got no physio tomorrow, tomorrow's Monday and he's got no physio till Tuesday. And um, I wish he'd just do the exercises, but he's always been obstinate. <laughs> He can walk, he can walk quite far as you can see, further than I can walk at the moment. But I have been, oh, I was going to go, I was going to go down the bank, going to go down that bank. I've been doing a lot, I've been doing too much, I'm tired, lots of cooking. Well, as you've seen. I did bread as well this morning, it didn't come out brilliantly, it's the spelt flour still, I'm nearly at the end of it. But there's lots of walking backwards and forwards. It'd be interesting to hear from the partners of people that have had knee replacements and to hear what their experience of it is. And I know that my PMR doesn't help with me feeling tired. I've upped my steroids to try and help cope with it. <gasps> oh, exercises, very impressive. I was just saying how obstinate you were as well. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, carry on. Ten you're meant to do. <sighs> so rebellious. I certainly did. I just did. Oh, did I? I'm impressed. Very good. That's good. Are you standing on your toes? Well, I think so. It's another movement, isn't it? That going to get you to drive home. Showing off now, getting excited. I'm pleased I made you come out. Yeah, it's good. For me. It's good. I know I'm not allowed to say it's good for you, well, but we have to stop saying that. Why? Well, it's got a list. There's a list of things that are good for you. It includes being birched every day. Whether I haven't been not. birching you every day. No, but the it's on only the every other day. It's on the list. Every other day. Yeah. Well then. God, you make such man, a fuss. Slap me on the face with a wet fish. Yeah, and that's only once a week. Good for me. What on a Friday? Bloody grumpy patient. <laughs> no, I'm pleased we came out. Are you really? Yes, sir. No, really? Yes, I am. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, only... it's difficult to sort of do exercises around the house, really. Whereas going for a walk is, makes, you know, yeah. there's a bit more result to it. Really. And what time is it now? Four o'clock. Yeah, four o'clock. I mean, we're stuck in, aren't we? See, four o'clock precisely. And church bells agreeing with you? Oh. Unless it's a church that rings twice, in which case your watch is fast. I don't think this one does. We don't know. We don't live next to it, do we? Oh, it's been my watch that's right, not, not the church. Of course. So that weather up there is going away from us, thankfully, because neither of us, he's got a coat in the car, but I didn't bring a coat. Heron. Optimist, where? Oh, heron up there. Sure it's coming out on here, I'm not sure.
Oh, yeah, not that either. Not that. No. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a weir over there somewhere, but you can hardly see it. It's flattened out. So we're both coughing a bit at night, so I'm not really <clears throat> not really sure what's going on. I hope that it's just a cold. So we're going through strepsils, aren't we? Yeah. Well, one a day, is it? One a day? Yeah. Trying to get around me? <laughs> So, not quite a week still. Keep up. Yeah. Well, I've got to keep an eye on you, make sure you're all right. Supervise and all. Oh, of course. Well, there we are. A little vlog from the flooded Gartomp.